this week are two masters. I recounted my story, my experience with job loss. Having lost, no, having been fired three different times over a span of a couple of years. The first time it happened, I was a new mother, I was on maternity leave. Dealing with that whole onboarding and induction process with the baby, and we all know how that can be. And then coming to the realization that baby daddy was a runner, he had run for the hills. <laughs> and in the midst of that, the very jolting news that I was fresh out of a job. When you have been handed this baby and you're the sole caretaker and it's all unfamiliar, it was all I could do to not go into full panic mode. The second and third times, he was a little older of school going age. And the most difficult period of my life followed the third job loss. This took me through three years of being out of a job and specifically two very tough ones because of the financial struggles. Not being gainfully employed and going through financial struggles, they do something to you. They dehumanize you. So first of all, you live in constant fear and you're dreading all the time. So you dread the Kenya power man, you dread the Nairobi water man, you dread the fifth of the month because you don't know what you'll tell the landlord. And I hated having to rely on people to do things for me. It also kills your self-esteem because you're not able to sustain yourself or the people who depend on you. And in the darkest of times, I questioned God, I questioned my self-worth, I questioned my very purpose. So just feeling like I'm backed up against the wall and this is it. It's like all our stories converge. There's a, there's a moment when you realize, and for me the lessons were, first, that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And that you also need to look up because there's always a silver lining in the cloud. For me, it came in the form of my friends and family who came through for me, who were the angels sent to sort me out in the moments when I felt that I couldn't go on and all I could see were my limits. And so like Pete said, God sends angels and he empowers them through him he sends his limitlessness and he teaches us that we are limitless. And by looking up, if you're stuck looking down, you miss out on the hand that's outstretched to pull you out of your pit of despair. And once you do that, you start to look within yourself, to rediscover yourself and realize that you're limitless through the power that God gives you.